All right, Chris, thank you. A Central Iowa County is considering becoming the first in the state to become a Second Amendment sanctuary. As KCCI's Chris Gottner explains, it would, mean, it would mean that Jasper County would not enforce any gun laws that officials deem unconstitutional. In recent months, the Second Amendment has again come under attack. Jasper County Supervisor Brandon Talsma says that's why he supports a measure declaring the county a Second Amendment sanctuary. The resolution states that county employees, including law enforcement, wouldn't enforce any state or federal law or order that the county believes infringes on gun rights. It would be the first county in Iowa to become a Second Amendment sanctuary. The Jasper County Board of Supervisors discussed the plan in its meeting Tuesday, but decided it merits further discussion at its meeting next week. It's the government closest to the people. Richard Rogers with the Iowa Firearms Coalition says the proposal mirrors language it modeled for local governments. He says there's a lot of concern over President Biden and congressional Democrats' support for gun control legislation. This added a lot of impetus to the Second Amendment sanctuary movement. I am concerned that I wouldn't be surprised if a number of counties in Iowa pick up and do this. Scott Peterson with Iowans for Gun Safety, which advocates for stricter gun laws, says the Second Amendment sanctuary proposal is worrisome and would violate laws preventing Iowa localities from regulating guns. This is neither in keeping with the Constitution nor is, is it lawful conduct. Rogers disputes that. This is not a regulation of firearms. This says we oppose further restriction. Now, during Tuesday's meeting, Talsma said the resolution would not allow for firearms to be purchased without background checks or allowing felons to be able to obtain firearms or allowing people to carry guns on school grounds. He also said it would only apply to county departments and unincorporated areas. Now, I called a number listed on the county website to reach the supervisors seeking comment. Employee said she'd pass along my message to them, but so far I have not gotten any calls back. Steve. Thank you.